Today is the day. I want to show you how you can copy files from one SharePoint library to the other. I really don't know what is so special about it, but I got so many requests from my YouTube viewers and also on LinkedIn and from my students on Udemy. They all want to see how we can copy all files from one SharePoint library to another library, including metadata and content types. It is not a complicated process. It's mostly setup of SharePoint library than working with the Power Automate. But regardless, let's do it. Let's have a quick review on the problem definition. The setup that I have done, I have two libraries called lib1 and lib2. Lib1 has a few content types and a few files in it with some metadata. Lib2 does not have anything. It's just a plain vanilla document library with only one content type, which is the built-in document. And I'm going to do the entire setup right in front of you as we do the video. Both these libraries are on the same SharePoint site. So all the content types that are available to lib1 are available to lib2. If this is not the case, just make sure that the same libraries are available to both of them across site collections using the SharePoint Content Type Hub. If you want to know about the Content Type Hub, let me know and I will create a video about it. So far, I haven't got any requests about it. We want to develop a flow that actually copies all the files in lib1 with their content type and metadata to lib2. Now let's get to SharePoint and see what we got. Inside the SharePoint modern team site, I've already created two libraries. Lib1 has a few content types, including picture, document, article page, and audio. And all these content types are built-in SharePoint content types. You can actually create your own content types and add it to the library. It doesn't change the process. Just keep in mind, if you're adding your own content type, add it to the content type hub. So if you want to copy the files with the content type and metadata across site collections, you have the content types available in both libraries. At the moment, lib1 and lib2 are under one SharePoint site. The content types that we have are picture, document, article page, and audio. So let's go to lib2 and do the setup. As I told you before, lib2 is just a vanilla document library. So it doesn't have anything special. The first thing that we need to do, like library one, we need to enable the content types for the SharePoint document library. In order to do that, I go to my setting, I click on library setting, and under advanced setting, I allow management of content types. Scroll down, I click on OK, and now content types are enabled for this site. As you can see, now I can add from existing site content types. So let me click on this and add what I need to add here. In library one, I have picture. So I go to library two and I add picture. In library one, I have document, which is already there. I have article page. So I come back here and I add article page. And I also have audio. So if I go back here, I can pick audio and add it to this document library and I click OK. Is there anything else? When I come back here, now I have document, picture, article page, and audio. All these content types are available. So basically, now, if I copy one file from lib1 to lib2, if that file takes its content type and metadata with itself, those content types are available in lib2. So our setup is complete. Let's go to flow and create a flow that does the job for us. Just like before, I go to flow.microsoft.com and I click on Create. I don't want to make it anything special. I create an instant flow and I say, copy SharePoint files demo. 
manually trigger a flow. I just want to push a button and it should do the job. How it starts is not a topic for this lecture. The first thing that we need to do, we need to get all the files that they are in lib1. So I just add the new step and under SharePoint, I search for get files. I just need to use the properties only. So if I use get file, I can go for the site address. I will pick up the flow course that was my site. If you don't see it in the list or this is the file, this is the website that you connect for the first time, you can simply click on custom and just enter the URL. I can do it here again for you. So I just get a site URL and I can come here and just paste it here rather than picking up from the list. Then I go to the library that I want to get the content from. It's lib1. Limit entries to folder. No, I don't want to limit it and include nested items. If you want to include subfolders at the moment, there is just one folder. But if you just do the nested items, it does exactly the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Show advanced options. If you don't have anything special, I don't want to query anything with the all data or something like that. I don't want to apply any limitations. So basically, I want to send everything that I have in lib1 to lib2. And this one should only give me the list of files that are there. When we get the list of all the files, we need to navigate through all the files and copy the files from source to destination one by one. To do that, I need to use and apply to each loop. If I click on this, now I can pick the values that the get files returns and work with them. So if I click on here, if I go to the list of get files, I scroll down and I should find the value which contains the list of items. This list of items includes lots of properties that we just need the identifier. Now under the supply to each, I can copy file. So I can click on add an action. I search for SharePoint controls. If I click on SharePoint, I can say copy file. And if I click on copy file, I can get the current site address. I pick the source. The file that I want to copy, I got to get the identifier from the properties. And this identifier, you can find it here in the list. Oh gosh, this is a long list. Identifier. I click on the identifier. So I get the identifier of the files from the source. In the destination, I need to select the site, which is the same site collection. The destination folder, this time it is library2. And if another file is already there, this time I want to overwrite it or replace it. And that's all about it. Let's see if we can run it and get the results. So let me test this. And I say, save and test. I click on run flow, done. And this process usually takes a while to complete. So don't expect a quick result. And if it takes sometimes a minute or two, depending on how many files you have in library one or in your source library, and wait for this to complete. It goes one by one. The only question is that, okay, we copy the files. How about metadata? And here is when the magic happens. Let's go fast forward and see the results. And now the flow completed successfully. I go to library two and see the files are here a few seconds ago. Do I have the metadata? The first thing that I want to do, I want to go to the view that I have here. And I say, edit current view because I want to add the content type here just to make sure that the content types are copied. Okay. Now the content type, picture, picture, document, article page, and audio, 
they are in lib2. And if I go back to the library one, that's exactly the same thing. Perfect. Now, if I go back to the library two, I want to see the other properties. For example, in library one, which is in the source, if I click on this Arcando JPEG, and if I click on info, it's a picture, but it has properties like Arcando JPEG, JPEG Arcando part. It's a date picture taken and all this metadata. Let's go back to the library two and see if all those properties are copied. So if I click on this and I go to the info, I will see the same picture. Properties are title, Arcando part. The date is the same thing, comments and all those things that they are coming from lib one. So if I scroll down here, that's the same thing. And it applies for everything. So basically what we have here as the copy file inside SharePoint, it copies not only the file, but also all the properties and content types. And the problem is solved in one shot. As long as you have to do the right setup in place before you run this action. And we finally did it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.